As your muscle memory improves, you'll notice that you're able to fly using increasingly minute stick inputs. One maneuver that will put these stick management skills to the test though, is the orbit. Orbiting is exactly what it sounds like. A drone revolves around an object in as close to a circular path as possible, while simultaneously trying to track the obstacle and keep it in center frame. A successful orbit requires you to make small adjustments on all four flight axes in order to maintain a smooth and stable path. Approach the target obstacle as if you're going to make a yaw turn or air brake around it. Yaw and roll should both point in the direction you'd like to orbit. Then, start bringing your sticks back to center. That'll bring the obstacle to the middle of the frame. This is where the move becomes more difficult. You're going to make extremely minimal stick movements, delicately managing your throttle and pitch. At the same time, alternate between pushing yaw and roll in the direction you'd like to travel and returning them to center stick so you can keep your obstacle in frame. Like a lot of the other maneuvers we've gone over, you're going to want to keep your horizon line as flat as possible. You'll find that the closer you are to the obstacle, the more throttle, yaw, and roll you'll have to apply to keep the obstacle in sight. Make sure to pitch down as well to avoid moving upward along the obstacle. Or don't, sometimes it could look pretty cool, like when orbiting this radio tower here. Drones with higher camera tilts will also result in faster orbits that require even more throttle and pitch, so keep this in mind when starting out. A lower camera angle will allow you to start slower and build up your ability from there. As you master orbiting, you'll find that you need to make fewer and fewer micro adjustments in order to execute it properly.